the 2024 Email Lock Business Forum. It presents a great opportunity to explore not only collaborations, but discussions on many different sectors between Indonesia, Latin America, and the Caribbean, including, of course, the mining sector. And right now, I'm joined by the President and Director of PT Freeport Indonesia, Tony Wenas, Bapa Tony Wenas, to discuss more on those potential collaborations in that sector. Bapa Tony Wenas, thank you so much for speaking to me. My today. pleasure. Right. So, of course, we are here in Lima, Peru. It's very far away from <laughs> Indonesia, but of course, 30, thirty-five hours flight. Thirty-five <laughs> hours flight, nearly two days, but yeah, but it's worth it. It's I'm worth really it. Worth it. Right, exactly, because uh, you know it's far away, and there's not many chances, right, to seek those collaborations and discussions as well. Yeah, and and you know, Ministry of Foreign Affairs, you know, really did a great job in making this happen. Yes, and yes, indeed. you can see, you know, there's so many companies from Indonesia, the big ones are right. coming here, including Freeport Indonesia is coming yeah. here. Exactly. Right, and also the the participants, I mean, the attendees were like a lot mm. of people. Right. And the MOU signing with, uh, I think the the Mexican ambassador yes. witnessed the signing. Yes. So, so many things happening. Yeah. So, yeah, as, as you mentioned, I think there are over 46 Indonesian companies and 70 Latin American and Caribbean yeah. uh, companies. So, and a wide range of sectors as well, including, of course, uh, energy and mining as well. Yeah. So, uh, perhaps I would like to start by asking, um, you know, mining is a large industry in South America, including in Peru as well. How do you see it? Fine. Yeah. But Peru is actually Peru was, I mean, formed or become a country is basically because of mining. Right. When the, the Spanish came, uh -huh. they tried to seek for uh, copper and silver yep. at that time. So Peru is one of the uh, producing, producing country in, in, in mining. Mm -hmm. And so as other uh, South American countries as well, like Chile. Chile mm -hmm. is also the, the biggest copper producer in the world. Yeah. And not to mention Argentina and Brazil as well. Right. So the area is basically rich of minerals. Right. And uh, of course, also coming from the Chamber of Commerce, how do you see the uh, potential for collaboration, further collaboration uh, between Indonesian uh, you know, yeah. companies and companies here? First of all, you know, uh, before going go into that, you know, my parent, our parent company, mm. Freeport McMoran, also had a mine here in, okay. in near uh, Arequipa. Right. Sierra uh, Verde is quite sizable copper mine as well, copper and molybdenum. Mm. So, uh, of course, Freeport McMoran may also want to seek other opportunities, especially in, in copper. But for Indonesia, you know, as, as a Secretary General of the Indonesian Mining Association and also the Vice Chairman of Kadin, yeah. you know, any opportunities that uh, that occurs in, in this trip, of course, I will try to grab it and then. Mm bring it back to Indonesia, discuss with our team over there, the yeah. members, the companies, the businessmen, whether this could be a, a what do you call it, a f potential cooperation between between the two countries. Hmm. Because the world is borderless right now. True, true. Bro. <laughs> the investment can go anywhere. That's true. Bro. And with, uh, people said that the, the, the money doesn't have passport. It can just go travel anywhere. <laughs> yeah, whenever there's an opportunity yes, to course. invest, then why not? Yeah, right? whether, whether the Argentinian or the uh, South American will invest in Indonesia or vice versa. Indonesian companies would like to also invest in uh, hmm. South America when there's a possibility of that. Okay, could you speak on maybe some of the details of that potential collaborations? Here right now, I mean, you know, after the talks in the, you know, like I know we spoke with the vice president of Camion from uh, Catamarca, Argentina, yep. and she said there are some, you know, yeah, MOUs yeah. in the works. They, you know, the, I, I, I spoke in more detail with, with Natalia. Yeah, Natalia this right. uh, And she mentioned also the possibility, because Argentina is quite rich in the mm -hmm. rare earth, like lithium. Mm. They have a big amount of lithium and you know, they also need nickel from Indonesia. Yep. So if we can, you know, have a collaboration, we need the lithium yes. and they need the nickel. So it's like uh, very potential to have a mutual benefit cooperation between the two countries, two companies, maybe mm. three or four companies together, but basically the, between the Indonesia and South America. Right. And also that relates to, of course, the electrical the electric vehicle industry, the EV industry, right? For batteries, yeah. we need those critical minerals. Yeah. 
So, I mean, how, how do you see South America as sort of a partner, you know, uh, to, you know, perhaps get those critical minerals? I know we're getting some from Western Australia, but uh, what about Yeah, South why America? not? I mean, mm. I, I used to work for Vale, Indonesia, yes. right? Vale is a Brazilian company. Right. Right. So we have many, many things in common between Indonesia and Brazil and also some of the other South American countries. Mm. So by that, actually, we can have a, uh, what do you call it, a, a smoother cooperation between the, these two areas. Yeah. Uh, the similarities, so many similarities similarity between, between us and, and the South Americans. Yeah. Okay, but you know, uh, the, the, there is this maybe uh, perception that, you know, Indonesia, like we were speaking before, it took about two days to get here, right? And there's this perception that, you know, that long distance is the reason that perhaps maybe why trade and business is not as large as maybe some of others, Indonesia's trading partner. The Director General, um, you know, uh, from the Ministry of Foreign Affairs was really talking about that. That long distance is a myth. That is not the issue. What, what do you think about I mean, if the profitability is high, why not? I mean, right. you, can, exactly. you can have your private jet to travel, for example, if mm. the profitability is high. Right? Yeah. I was also working with April, April Group, and they have also the family, the Sukarno Taranto family also have investment in Brazil. Mm. And so as some other businessmen also have invested in South America as well. So it's not, it's not that because of 35 hours flight, you know, yeah. you won't invest in here. No, mm. that's not a barrier. It's not a barrier. So long as the IRR is high, it's safe, right. I mean, politically stable, yep. you know, security, right. uh, uh, clean, and you know, the money will go there. Okay. Sure. Right? The profitability is high, why not? Why not? <laughs> right, exactly. <laughs> um, but what do you see as the biggest challenge, perhaps? The biggest what? The biggest challenge, maybe, to grow that collaboration in the mining sector, for example, uh, Indonesia and Latin America. I think it's a matter of the, the biggest challenge. I think it's a matter of knowing each other. Connections. If you have like already familiar with this area, yeah. you will feel more comfortable, mm -hmm. you know, to put your money sure. here. Vice versa too. If they know Indonesia better, mm -hmm. I mean, the political stability, you know, the economic growth, and all that kind of things, that ease yeah. of doing business. Yeah. Right, the certainty, you know, the money will flow. Yeah, that's it's very simple. You know, uh, some people from from uh, from North Pole can invest in South Pole, <laughs> even though it's like yeah. As long as you know each other. As, as long as we know each other yeah. and the profitability, the feasibility is high. Trust. Yes. Yeah. I mean, we were speaking to a number of business leaders, including from um, from the food industry from Indo food and what basically she was saying is Peruvians like that human touch, right? Yeah. You, yeah. You want to get to know each other. Right. Like, like, like Indo food, you know, I mean, they exported Indomie like, I, I think it's around 450 countries yeah. in the world. Right. So <laughs> they're everywhere. It's yeah. why it's profitability is there. Right. So why not? <laughs> Okay, but um, uh, just very uh, lastly, I want to talk uh, because you, you were a panelist at the CEO talks, yeah. uh, you know, as, as part of the Analog Business Forum, and one of the main focuses was sustainability and emissions reductions. Perhaps could you speak on uh, those efforts um, by Indonesia's mining sector and by Freeport as well? Yeah, mining is not a sustainable business. Sure. You know, it's uh, non-renewable, yeah. right? It will stop one day. It will be depleted one day. But the way we mine, actually, can, we can do it in a sustainable way, yeah. right? For example, like right now, we Freeport Indonesia and uh, mining, Indonesian Mining Association. Our members are, you know, we ask our members to uh, really care, concern about the environmental, social, and the, and the governance, the ESG, which at the end, it, it relates also to the climate and carbon emission. And uh, because we believe that there's no company that can prevail in a community and environment that fail. Yeah. So, for example, like us, Freeport, we committed to reduce carbon emission by 30% in 2030. Currently, mm -hmm. we have already, already reached like 25% wow. carbon emission reduction. 
Okay. And we can also, we plan to do it more than 30% hmm. after 2030. Maybe in 2030, we can do more than 30% actually. Okay. By trying to convert our uh, whole firepower plant into a, a cleaner, hmm. uh, cleaner energy like LNG okay. power plant. So that will contribute even beyond 30% of carbon emission reduction. Right, that's great. And of course, those critical minerals are being used uh, for EV as well, which is also yes, <laughs> a and very the 70% of yeah. the world copper mm -hmm. is used for transporting energy. Right. Okay. So, copper plays very important role in energy transition. Okay. And renewable energy and so on and so on and so forth. Okay, great. Okay, Baba Tony Wenas, President Director of PT Freeport Indonesia. Thank you so much, Baba. My pleasure. Today. And that was our discussion on the mining sector sustainability and connecting Indonesia, Latin America, and the Caribbean with Baba Tony Wenas, the President Director of PT Freeport Indonesia. Uh, don't forget to also follow us on our social media. So we are uh, on Twitter, X, and YouTube at See Today uh, News. And that's it from us. Let's stay connected.